This is a very long time to wait. So we're not going to do that. Yeah, three years is more time than we've been streaming. As of right now. Currently. But I mean, we're talking in the present. That's that's kind of the point of a live stream. So, uh... Past, present, future, it's all relative. I mean, kind of. Like, the terms past, present, and future are all relative. This is true. <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay. 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 Oh, fuck. Who are we talking to? What are we doing? I don't know how to play. Uh, I mean, last time we talked to... We have one phone number, and it's Satan's. Wait, well, last time we talked to Dracula Von, not Dracula. His name is Felix. Von Gloomheart? Uh, Something like that. And Nova. Mm-hmm. We did a quiz where we, go we uh, googled the answers. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's literally all we did last time. Correct. Sounds like we should talk to ourselves. We should talk to what? Ourselves. Ourselves? Yeah. Alright, time to find our clone. Who likes to hang out by the trash for some reason. There's a joke there. Hmm? There's an obvious joke there. Go ahead. What's the joke? <laughs> are you asking it? Are you asking that uh, or stating that because you want to hear me say it or because why? You said there's a joke. Uh -huh. Huh? Uh, uh, you just skipped some dialogue. I know that. How's it going? <sighs> Are you okay? <sighs> I tried to charge in sleep mode, but someone unplugged me to charge their phone. <laughs> Nova's eyes flicker weakly. Oh no, what can I do? Uh, my mind is going. I can feel it. You spy a power outlet on a nearby wall. A mobile phone is plugged into it. You recognize it as Satan's. Sorry, Nova. You pause for a moment, wondering what the, the king of hell will do if you unplug his device. Finally, you take the risk and reinsert Nova's long, slim white cable. She shudders. I'm like, I feel like part of the thing to do is just check how much percentage that one has. Who cares? Oh, that's that's much better. She still sounds a bit woozy, but her eyes have stopped flickering. So, what would you like to discuss? What would you like to talk about? I have many conversational topics and a lot of free time in this corner while I'm charging. Oh, there's an test to her intelligence. Or Leon's inspiration for you. I'm curious about your origins. Did Leon model your personality after someone real? Yeah. I am real. 
She looks offended. Sorry, I mean a person who existed before, like... Like... Like an anime character. She, she kind of told us about that already. A celebrity crush, maybe? <sighs> The doctor told me once he modeled me after Ada Lovelace, the world's first computer programmer. But it makes no sense. The original personality programming he gave me did not match anything I've read about Ada. She was independent and smart, for the world's first machine algorithm for an early computing machine that existed only on paper in the 1840s. If anything, I'm, I'm more like, like her now. Were you like before? The doctor's main objective was to create a perfect woman. According to his research? That's not it! According to his preferences. That's why he didn't spend much time designing a complex, intricate personality. But he sure did focus on aesthetics. A real working artificial intelligence. But you wonder if she can really be smarter than you. Uh, she How would you like to test Nova? Well, chess is solved. And I feel like pose an unsolved mathematics problem to her is like, well, how do you verify that she is correct? Yes. So, a uh, riddle or song? Song. I'm gonna regret that, but song. <laughs> Can an artificial intelligence write music that actually? No, that's very easy. Write people uh, music that people like, or like that. Can an artificial intelligence write music like people can? And this is the PSA. Watch Carolyn Tuesday. It's really good. Oh, right. You've talked about that before. Uh-huh. It's a good show. Actually, I've written exactly 3,854 songs. Can I hear one? We've just met. Maybe when I get to know you a little better. I'm still pretty shy about my music. So I think this volume's still like pretty loud. It was okay for a while, but or maybe you're just being quiet. What? That's your normal volume. <laughs> maybe I'm just quiet today. I, you need to be loud enough for like the audience and preferably also for the captions. Audience? What audience? The audience that might be lurking. The audience uh, that might watch like however long from now. In the future! Hello future audience. We're sorry you're watching. Also, about half of them are out of your audible range. I see. Don't feel bad. It's a pretty obscure frequency. You probably haven't heard it. Boomch. Okay, bye. How can I help you? Oh. Hello. How may I help you? Have a great day. Are we gonna talk to ourselves? I was trying to see if there were other topics that wouldn't pass time first. Mm. Hello. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Indeed. All right. Uh, this one. This one. Hey. Uh, Snacky. Could you watch the grill for me? 
There is a special guest in hell who's making a bit of a scene, and my devils are having a hard time dealing with them. Oh? Special guest? Who is it? Uh... Um, er... I usually keep the exact details of my job secret, but I guess it's fine to tell you. The Blood Countess makes a ruckus from time to time. Cool name, unoriginal name. It'd be pretty cool to be called something like the Blood Countess. I believe that, I'm assuming that's Elizabeth What's-Her-Face who did the bathing in Virgin's blood. Well, I'm already the king of hell, so Countess would be a downgrade for me. Wait, what? Hmm? Wait, what? What? What did you just say? I... Haven't you ever heard of the thing about bathing in the blood of virgins? No! Seriously?! It's yes. supposed to keep you looking young! Or something. That makes no sense. Yeah, well... Back then... They put leeches on you for, like, every other fucking thing, now didn't they? That's why they didn't live long. Yes. They didn't was... know any better at the time. Well, how is bathing in virgin blood gonna help? It's supposed to keep you young. It's supposed to keep you looking young. Sure have it good, your highness. Anyway, she was a Hungarian noble who tortured and kills hundreds of young women. Yep! They say she bathed in her in their blood, which I personally find especially funny, since her last name was Bathory. She sometimes forgets she's not in charge anymore, and her spirit is particularly strong, so the devils have a hard time containing her when she's in one of her moods. And needing help with the girl? Exactly. Do you have time to help me out? Uh, I'm assuming this will pass time. Yeah, so nope. We gotta go talk to ourselves. Oh, okay. I guess the devils can handle the blood countess a bit longer. Pop out of villainous background music is about to start. You see Felix sitting in one of the chairs. Bye. Conference my career as a villain, we can learn about ourselves. Family or your hobbies. If they're a clone, wouldn't they have the same hobbies as us? Not necessarily. I mean, twins don't always have the same hobbies. Okay, but twins aren't clones. I, they kind of are if they're identical twins. They have the same DNA. That's, that's kind of the point. The clones were technically... Eh, not really. Anyway. So what are we talking about? Wait, do you know the genet- like, how the genetics of, like, identical twins versus c clones works? Is this why you're confused? No. No, you don't know, or no, this is not why you're confused. That's not why I was confused. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes I have to check, and I'm not sure what your science knowledge is. Non-existent. Anyway. Anyway. What are we talking about? I don't know. What are we talking about? Mm, our career is a villain. All right. Narcissism all the way. This conference still feels pretty strange to me in general, but I think I was Ikens, right? Yes. How so? I've never seen so many villains in one place. I also don't remember what their voice was. <laughs> it's been too mm. long. Whatever your voice you give them. Aren't they usually fairly solitary? Mm -hmm. 
Not as much as you would expect. That's a common misconception. Sure, most of us have our different professional goals. But after a long day, who else are you going to talk to about construction delays on your moon-shattering laser prototype? Your therapist, maybe. Dot, dot, dot. Right, I see your point. Everyone here does seem to be pretty friendly so far. I think I'll probably keep avoiding Satan for a little while, though. What made you want to become a villain in the first place? It's not the most conventional career, that's true. It's definitely not for everybody. Me. My cat. <gasps> what? Really? Why do you seem so surprised? Your clone takes a moment to gather their thoughts. That's just quite interesting. Is it? Yes, I mean, it's... Isn't it? We had a very close relationship. She taught me some of my most important lessons about being evil. Unfortunately, I had to give her up. I was allergic. Sometimes I wonder what happened to her. Oh. Oh. Oh, come on, really? But it was a long time ago. I barely even remember what she looks like now. Wait, but we chose our cat as our reason for becoming a villain, like, way at the beginning. So depending on what choice you make there, does that impact what the clone maker appearance and whatever is? That would be interesting to find out. Oh. Um. I'm sure she thought about you. You think so? Definitely. On that note, we're leaving. <laughs> Fine. There are a lot of interesting people to talk to at this conference. I'll talk to myself whenever I want. Murmur, murmur, murmur. Murmur, murmur. Murmur, 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 murmur. DMCA. What? I said DMCA. Ah. Oh. So? So? Now where to? Uh... Uh... What's her face? Masan? Yes. Hello. Well? Uh, uh, hey, why are you such a Karen? What are you implying? You treat the staff poorly, I would make a better servant. I'm just wondering what your own servants are like. Number two is a fascinating answer. Ah, uh, yes, the classy shar classic Sharky. Uh. Uh. Ah! Now you have to come back down. Ah! That's not how an arpeggio works. <laughs> Who said I was doing an arpeggio? Um, the sequence of notes you were uh at first. Doesn't mean I have to follow it. Oh, so you're writing a song just like Nova. <laughs> no. No? No. I mean, technically, I guess somebody could make a song out of the Sharky Uz or whatever other random noises I make. That'd Wouldn't be great. Be a good song. I did clip that other singing, by the way. Remember? 
Did you ever go listen to it? No, of course I didn't! Hey, Marjorie, you wanna go listen to that? What a beautiful voice, don't lie, child. I know. Don't lie. Don't be lying, liars. Well, magic lies. has to get theirs from somewhere. Perfect for a Christmas <laughs> album, Ooh, ooh. There is no Sharky Christmas album. Yes. The Sharky Christmas album is as real as the Loch Ness Monster. Potentially. Or Bigfoot. So potentially. Even higher or chances, in fact, because you said or. Or the Mothman? You know, every or you add increases the chances. This is great. <laughs> good, good, good. <laughs> Do a thing. Oh, wait, I didn't tell you something that I, I saw in Tumblr. Oh? Uh, it was, uh, you know, uh, take every song that has the word Christmas in it. Mm-hmm. And replace Christmas with cryptid, and the so and the uh, beat still works. All I want for cryptid is you. Yes. Doesn't mean the song makes sense, but the beat still works. Well, I mean, yeah, but you can substitute a lot of things if all you're trying to do is replace a word. I'm almost at 120k. It's gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. It's gonna happen. Isn't it like a million? Uh-huh. If it takes three years, no. I mean, magic hasn't always a year. come. It magic took a is year. busy sometimes. It took a year to get to 120k. It's really just a shame we're not doing extra life. So that means it's going to take 10 years in order to get to... So in 10 years, it's going to happen! <laughs> Who says I'll be alive? Uh, us? Us. All of us. That's not how it works. Sure it is. No, it legitimately isn't. Mm-hmm. It's not how it works. Sure it is. Says well, we'll speaking of, uh, substituting words and songs, I did see a great trick of, like, because people, uh, do the yeah exactly if magic's really determined to just not like spend any of the points you know they could totally accumulate the million i believe in you magic I have you a can do it of you father uh -huh. i know you do i'm not saying you need to come to every stream and show up and watch constantly you don't have to, you just get points. But technically, if you left it just open, it would get points. <laughs> Only while we're live. Only while we're live, but still. I mean, yes, that would be an artificial way to inflate numbers and points. Or if you just, every time you got the uh, notification, opened it up on something, and then just left it running, and then left it. <laughs> To go do other things. No, I'm not. I am not suggesting you open up the stream every time it's there and just. You're not, but that's because you don't want a Sharky Christmas album. That's not the reason why I'm saying not to. <laughs> it's just a bonus. <laughs> no, what I was gonna say, um, on the. Thing of replacing words there's yeah. like the people are always like they sing along to like this or that song especially with like rap songs and they're like oh but i am just singing the lyrics and they use that as the excuse to say the n-word i saw a great trick that you can replace the n-word with the word nugget if twitch ever lets people donate their points to another viewer slash pull points together it's over for you, Sharky. Truly. Well, technically, there's, there's, the, there's the crowd goal, but like you can only donate 2,000 points a day. That one maxes out. However, if we left it running long enough... <laughs> like, technically, the uh, only other way to inflate uh, point values 
would be to run um, the gambling thing. The gambling thing. <laughs> then it but, really would be all over for you, Sharky. <laughs> but you need somebody on both sides, and like it gets into some weird things. Anyway, it's a million points. I believe in you, magic. I'm also like, wow, this background's like the lesbian flag colors. It's great. <laughs> what? <laughs> Nothing. Although it's only great depending which lesbian flag. But I think it's the better one. Mm -hmm. Hmm? I do not know. Oh, the context there is that I think uh, the old lesbian flag that was that's still pretty popular among some people who like didn't hear about whatever stuff like that. Um, the old lesbian flag that was very prevalent was designed by like a turfy racist mm. who put like blog posts being super racist to Asians and stuff. And this is even before COVID. Um, and just being a terrible, terrible person in general. Um, so there was controversy there, of course. And so there have been various other lesbian flags since then, but I feel like this sort of resembles the new most popular lesbian flag I've seen around. It's kind of hard because there's no like official. Anyway, what option? My Sora shipped. Hmm? So like... Your what shipped? My, back in January, I made a dumb decision. As you do. Um, so you know those Nencroid little figures? Oh, yeah. Hmm? Yeah. You you uh, ordered some, right? I ordered some Kingdom Hearts 3 ones. One for Sora, one for Riku. Mm-hmm. They just shipped because they were pre-orders. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's uh, well, one, right. one of them just shipped. Like, literally, it was they came out this month. Um, but one of them just shed the Sora one. Um, so that should be arriving at some point. Great. Don't know when. It'll just be arriving at some point. Sometime before your birthday, hopefully. I would assume so, since the shipping is three to five business days. Who knows? And my birthday is next month. Yeah. At some point... It's indeterminate. And when my birthday actually is. Yes, we're not doxing your birthday. I don't even like my birthday. I just wish I, I could I wish I could just get rid of it. I will refrain from yelling because I don't want to dox it. <laughs> I know what you wanna say. You do, which is why it's basically equivalent to yelling at you, even if I don't say the comment. Anyway, so what choice are we picking? Say, you could just say yell, 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 and I know what you mean. Yell, 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 yell. Yell, 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 yell. Fuck. <laughs> what the crap? Is that what gets you laughing? The fuck at the end? <laughs> yes. Yes, it is. What's it to ya? Alright, that's the new t-shirt design. Yell, yell, yell. <laughs> yell, yell, yell. Dot, dot, dot. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm, I, it's easy to make me laugh. Huh? I don't know why this has surprised you. It's easy to make me laugh. You know me. You know me for years. Alright, it's time for the daily mission of Make Sharky Wheeze. Magic, I'm counting on you. <laughs> Don't put so much pressure on our child. But our child is funnier than me. And so I am laughing. <laughs> because uh -huh. you're so unfunny.
funny. I didn't say I was unfunny, even if it's true. I said our child is funnier than me. Well, I'm happy that you're here, Sharky. Regardless of celebrating when you came into independent existence or not. So actually, we should celebrate the day you moved out of your parents' house. I don't know what day of the year that is, but you know. I, I remember exactly what day of the year it is for some dumb reason. Yeah? It was June 28th. Hmm? June 28th. All right, that's a new holiday. Oh, no. No, wrong. August 28th. Because I came to visit you in June. Hmm. Okay. And I moved, like, August 28th. So August 28th is the, uh new stream holiday no no gonna hold me to unrealistic expectations satan like my real mother <laughs> they're not unrealistic Ooh. you've done it so many times <laughs> don't be like a real mother to magic i don't think i could be if i tried it's okay I'm counting on you, but like as a tag team. Together, I think we can accomplish at least one Sharky Wheeze. I was gonna try to say something like, I will hold back, but then I started laughing. <laughs> exactly. I say we can say the first answer. Mm -hmm. Piss her off, I don't care. Hey, Karen. Why are you such a Karen? Yes, and? You should be more respectful. Towards servants. Why ever would I do that? My job is to rule, and their job is to serve. It's as simple as that. There are people worthy of my respect. Servants are not among them. Bold remark. You've got some nerve trying to chastise me, I'll give you that. Okay, but don't uh, ever do it again. Okay, one of them's gonna be an imposter. Hmm? One of them's gonna be an imposter and vent... Vent around. So, I was wondering... You always just have... Someone fetch you s staff when you need something? Not always. I often use a phone when I'm here. No! Yo, just past 120k! Hey! <laughs> Woo! Go magic! That sounds about right. I'm like, wait, what celebratory thingies can I put so that we can cover the screen in celebratory emotes? Uh, the, 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 the confetti? Where confetti? There's a confetti one. Do we have confetti? We should have confetti. I think everyone has confetti. Okay, well, I'll put a bunch of K-pop victories. And now I have to wait for them to show up. <laughs> Woo! Go magic! That reminds me. Give me your phone. No! Lady Massard, type something on your phone. I have added my contact information. Disgusting! Oh, I should just give you her number. Okay. Be grateful. I don't give my number to just anyone. But you might prove useful. Okay, bye! Goodbye. Isn't that end of day? Like, is that... That's that's basically how I got your number, I think. Probably. Here, give me your number. I gotta be able to contact you for club stuff. No, yeah, legitimately, you're like, everyone give me your number in case I need to reach out to you. I, that's pretty much... Yeah. I mean, it was legitimate. <laughs> yeah, no, it was legit. Because then I had to reach out to you to, like, go through how to fill out an expensing form. 
That was only after the other... <laughs> Good lord. When the other <laughs> officer suddenly decided to drop on me? Yeah. Yeah! Yeah. Correct. And then I got thrust into a higher position. I'm like... Uh, uh, I, I, what? You were like, excuse? <laughs> excuse? Who this? Why me? And I went, uh huh, it you know. Hello, hey, friend! Mick. Hi, Mick! Hi, Mick. Currently, Hello. we've been sitting here for like half an hour, getting through very little. And magic has 120k channel points, so we are closer than ever to the Sharky Christmas album. The Sharky Christmas album doesn't exist. The Sharky Christmas album doesn't exist. Yeah, the whole point is that it doesn't exist yet, and then magic will redeem a million points, and then the Sharky Christmas album will come into existence when you record it. That's, that's kind of how that works. That's the order of operations. We could even beg Mick very nicely with commissions to help compose the Sharky Christmas album. That sounds pretty fun. Because we you have multi-talented ever... friends here. You do realize if I ever see that drop, I will probably cry. What, the million? Yes. I feel like if Magic actually managed to acquire one million channel points because we don't run the gambling thing or whatever no, if magic actually managed to get a million channel points at that point they deserve it and i would actually pay money to mick to commission them to help write a christmas album by sharky <laughs> but would it be parodies would it be originals some mix of the th some mix it's just an album. There, I feel like most Christmas albums are like a lot of covers, maybe one or two originals. But like, what does a Sharky Christmas album even mean? It means Sharky singing Christmas songs. <laughs> yeah, I need to schedule a COVID booster too. Mm, yeah. Eventually. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm not eligible until next week. It, are we actually? eligible yet? I feel so unclear because I keep seeing articles so like don't. the FDA hasn't actually approved COVID boosters for all adults yet. As far as I know, it's six, it's six months. Okay. I don't know. Uh, that's, that's I'll have to look lineup. more into it, but I should probably look into getting mine soon. Maybe while I'm house sitting because I won't really be able to go anywhere from my friend's house anyway. Because they live in the suburbs. I hate the suburbs. Uh, suburbs suck. She was telling me like, oh, it's such a nice little house. It's a nice suburban area. She was trying to sell me on like house sitting there and I was like, but you see suburbs are exactly not what I want. Suburbs suck. Saying is somebody who's all exclusively lived in suburbs. Suburbs suck. Yeah, cases have gotten really high again in my state, even with the decently high vaccination right here. Plus, I'm traveling to see a friend over Thanksgiving, so now seemed like the best time. That's probably a good idea, yeah. I think... I mean, cases have been up a lot of places, regardless of vaccination rate. Though, obviously, high vaccination rates help. Yeah, that's, um, that's better than I think. Thought. Yeah, I need. I probably. Like vaccination rate is. I've gone to a couple larger event things, and it's sort of like large event, stay at home, large event, stay at home. So I'm not like seeing friends very frequently in between, but it still feels like I probably should. <laughs> um, but speaking of uh, the house sitting, that reminds me. This means that next Wednesday, I think we're doing Code Realize. And then we will not be streaming on Black Friday. PSA. But yeah, everyone get your boosters and stay safe. Yeah, yeah. Everyone, needs, everyone can stay safe. 
I'm thankful I have literally zero plans for any holidays. I like, I'm literally, had I'm plans, but like, I think it varies a bit between states. The minimum requirement is six months past the second dose with some states restricting to immunocompromised high-risk people. Mmm. Yeah. That would make sense. Let's see what my state is. I think it was FDA approval, so it's probably something like that approval would be for the whole country, I guess, most likely. Ah, okay. So for mine, it is very specifically uh, for older people, uh, people with long-term care settings, underlying medical conditions, and work or live in high-risk settings. Oh, um, thanks for retweeting us again. All the time. Every time. Thank you so much, Mick. So it doesn't sound like I would, unless they open it up, I would ever be uh, eligible. Yeah, I, I mean, I've been seeing news headline alert things that are stuff like, oh, the FDA will probably approve it on Thursday, but it's like a not for sure thing. So I'm kind of like, eh. They just they just um, approved the shots for 5 to 11 year olds. Mm hmm. Which is good. Okay. <laughs> oh. No, my state is suggesting that everyone get. A booster shot, oh, I yeah, guess. So you, so you can get it. But then I see another article being like, how long will we be asked to lie for a booster shot in my state? Wow. Yeah. Although, I, I mean, I've been open about like, yes, I'm here in California, which is a very large state, so I don't feel like yeah. I'm giving that much away. Yeah. Um, but like... <laughs> Uh, th there are the parts of California that are filled with people who are more on the conservative side, despite yeah. all of the, like, California's a liberal hellscape, blah, blah, blah. Um, I think my friend was actually, <laughs> I was hearing about, um, this friend of a friend the other day who, before they moved here, um, their dad like talked to some doctor he knew in the area or something and it was like oh no they shouldn't move here it is a place full of like the liberals and the gays and aids and no 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 it's not safe and the drug addicts and blah 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 and it's like what are you talking about literally what are you talking about like that what? sounds like my family talking about the city. I mean, I think especially, because it was like, the gays and AIDS, and I'm like, are you discriminating against gays for AIDS? In yes. 20, some, like 20, it wasn't 2021, it was a couple years ago, but like, but yeah. excuse yes. me? <laughs> I, AIDS hits hetero people too at this point. Um. And like, I also, are you being this degree of homophobic in, I think it was like 2019 or something? Like, yes. really? Really? Yes, we are. Oh, yes, but like, are. I mean, those people exist in my state too. Yeah. As much as it has an overly liberal reputation, like actually we still have those people. So. There are, there are plenty of areas like, if you look at the counties... I mean, it's like, everywhere, because, I mean, the super yeah. red states have their liberal pockets. Yeah, they have yeah. their blue pockets. Mm -hmm. It's just... The state overall reliably goes red because of gerrymandering and stuff, so... It 
my state sucks when <laughs> when that's involved. Uh, wait, do we, have we revealed your state yet? No. I think, yeah, maybe by accident at some point, but not like outright. <laughs> There, there's an easy way to reveal it. Hmm? There's an easy way to reveal it. On the topic of gerrymandering? Yeah. I know. But we're not gonna talk about that. Oh, man. I'm not trying to reveal it. You can have as much anonymity as you want slash as we remember. I don't remember a thing. At this rate, who even am I? What's my name? Your name is Sharky Blade. And you're a shark. Quack. Oh, right. Since we're not going through the game at the moment. Oh, wait, but I haven't downloaded it. What? Oh, well. Okay, I'll leave what? it for another time. What? You know what? Whose birthday is nearest to now? Is it yours? I know Magix is back in, like, I think July or something. Yeah, magic's already passed. When's Nick's birthday? Oh, if you're yeah. comfortable sharing. You can be vague. You can just put the month or something if you prefer. No, um, I feel like Mix might have passed. I'm trying to remember if I saw something about... I think I saw something about Mick's birthday. You might be right. August? I'm losing track of time and there's like all the people who do birthday streams. So I get them mixed up at this point. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I was just, birthday. I was like, well, we have the birthday icons. Maybe yeah, I'll just mine... put little party hats on us for fun. Yeah, mine's you know what? Let's just put little party hats on us for fun. Oh my gosh. My, my, my the rest party. of the day, we're having little party hats. Oh, and potentially birthday. into the next time I stream, if I remember. <laughs> my, my birthday. Okay, it was birthday. August. My birthday's a stream day. Good lord. I mean, if we're streaming at that time. I don't assume we're gonna be streaming. Cause I assume you're gonna have plans. Mmm. Well, I mean, did a birthday stream. Yeah. I know it's super common to do birthday streams. Yeah. Um, we do not do birthday streams because we don't tell people when our birthdays are. <laughs> We have given the month and nothing else. <laughs> Might be a little silly, but still. Happy belated birthday, Mick. All right, so we'll just leave the party hats on them until Sharky's birthday, I guess. And then I'll probably forget and it'll go past Sharky's birthday. No, and then eventually, could... like three months from now, I'll remember to change it back. No, what we could technically do is we have revealed the months that we have the birthday. We could just pick a random time in that month and be like, Oh, we're calling this the birthday stream. <laughs> it may or may not be our birthday. Are we're you saying, saying that we should lie? Excuse me. <laughs> well, Don't yes, you know I in am, some cultures probably... it's bad luck to celebrate your birthday before your birthday? Who says that? Some cultures. I've never heard that. Okay, white boy. I mean, it's... I've never heard that. It's a thing. Okay. No birthdays for the aces. They are ageless and immortal. I am Satan, after all. I think that I think that's an insult. Hmm. I think that's an insult. It would be insult. I would hate being immortal. I mean, I feel I have had this conversation before, right? Was that I only like. Like, for all of the stories of people seeking eternal life and stuff, like, no, that sounds miserable. You'd never be able to retire. You'd have to live forever in this capitalist hellscape? Excuse me? Why? Why? Am I supposed to want that? And so I was like, how many millennials? I would like to know, like, the percentage of millennials who actually would desire to live forever. That sounds terrible to me. It would be interesting to see your take on a game called Everhood. Ever what? Everhood. Everhood? Yeah. Let's see. All right. To Steam. We're not moving on yet. <laughs> kind of makes sense. Like, if you celebrate your birthday early, you might not make it to the actual day. Yeah, exactly. 
that's that's, fine. that's the mythology of it. That's um, fine. I don't mind that. The rest of us do, Sharky. Look, I have somebody who legitimately says that they're gonna bring me back from the dead. Sharky, stop disrespecting other cultures, white boy. An unconventional art adventure RPG that takes place in an inexpressible world filled with amusing musical battles and strange, delightful encounters. To put it simply, you are in for a ride. What is this game? Um, Groove. It's it, um, it is a rhythmy game, but it's very inspired by Undertale. I see. And that. Um, Kind of in the you can there are different choices you can make throughout the game to determine like what ending you get and stuff like that. Um, and it has a very interesting take on death. I feel like the only thing that could tempt me to immortality would be if I could share it with my cat. I you know I would kind of rather my cats be immortal than I am. Because I'm like, well I can't die. I, who will take care of my cats if I die? Someone needs to take care of my cats. But if you, but then if you give your cats immortality, then you'll, then you would die, and then nobody would take care of your cats. Yeah, but if they're immortal, they don't necessarily need to be taken care of that way. Depending on the type of immortality. Um, I wouldn't wish immortality on anyone. I mean, it could be a curse. It could be a great curse for someone you hate. Look, I wouldn't even want to- I feel like we've just, we've just kind of grown up in a generation of like, no, living sucks. Who wants immortality? So I really want to know like what percentage of millennials would actually take immortality if offered? Look, the people who I hate enough that it would be spiteful to, I wouldn't want to curse other people with dealing with them. True. Mood, says <laughs> Hello, Malik. All right, uh, so the only person I'm going to curse to immortality is you, Sharky, because people delight in your existence. No! Mm -hmm. They do. Why did you curse me? How am I supposed to spend eternity? All right, everyone, put a further. You can do it with channel points. If you appreciate Sharky's existence, if you find delight in Sharky's existence. What am I supposed to do? I don't know why a further. Mostly because it's accessible with the channel points. <laughs> Melek delights in your existence. I'm assuming that Magic and Mick are just trying to get to it because they probably have to do the uh, channel point redemption thing to get it. Mm. Still haven't read the line. Hmm? Said so you still haven't read the line. The convention center is about to close for the day, but the night is still young. Time to head to the nightclub. Hello, Snacky. Hey, you seem... <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll put a further for you, Magic. I appreciate your existence, Sharky, but I refuse to spend the points because the Christmas album is coming. I, you know, I, that's fair. <laughs> There's oh, one from me. <laughs> see? Everyone here delights in your existence. You see, Sharky? I refuse. Yes, well, it turns out alcohol is not always, how did I put it? Amazing. Are they sure? Because I'm drinking right now, and it's pretty good. Right. It's water for me today. For a while. Hmm? Last time I drank was when I hang out with my tabletop room. I, yeah. That was not that long ago. That was like Halloween. 
Yeah, that was the 30th into the 30th. That was, yeah. that was less than a month ago. I have a bottle sitting next to me. I just never drink from it. Oh, you have a bottle now? Hey, when are you making that Ursula's Revenge? Uh... I don't even remember what goes into it anymore. I could take a guess. I think it was probably Grenadine Blue Curacao. And rum? Probably rum. What else did I put in it? Bitters? See, Sharky, you're so musically inclined. We're all just waiting on the Christmas album. Wait, but as like a half joking, half legitimate question. Mick, if I tried to commission you to help Sharky with a Christmas album, would you accept? No, like indeed. What, like the job searching website? I, what's that? You need a new job? Yeah, you do. That's correct. Um, what was I gonna say? That you need a new job. No, I was gonna say I need to get some alcohol for when I eventually do Kingdom Hearts 2 and have to play Atlantica. <laughs> the other. The other Atlantica thing. Oh, great! I'm glad. See, Mick is even in if I give the money, which, at, again, if Magic put in enough points <laughs> to hit the million. <laughs> Sharky, the Mozart of Twitch. Well, I mean, Why? technically, if Mick was the one composing, it would actually be Mick that's the Mozart. Yes. Mick's art? Mick's art, I guess. <laughs> Anyway, do you want to try the Wheel of Torture with me? I'm feeling lucky tonight. Lucky about you getting tortured. Uh, that, that's not how the game works? Do, do you remember anything from last night? I remember some things. Anyway, do you want to play with me or not? I feel like we already spent one nightclub night with our clone and I would like a different one. <gasps> wow! Yeah! Magic can put their own fighter now! Thanks, Malik. Thank you, Malik, for the gifts of the magic. Yes! Oh, that's true! Because you get double channel points as your sub. Oh, right. <laughs> that, that, is, that is a thing. You get double channel points if you if you have a subscription. Everyone's really investing in the Sharky <laughs> Christmas album. Good lord. No, but Sharky, if magic went to enough effort to drop a million points on a Sharky Christmas album, are you really going to tell your stream child no? It's been a long oh! month. Oh my gosh. That means Thanks. next month is a year. Oh my gosh. Yeah, and that's mainly because we like didn't tell people when yeah, we, we first no, we got it. Yeah, when did we tell people? Um, was during was it during Ace Week? I think what happened was we were um we so we put the emotes up. And we were commissioning them so that yeah. we would have them in time for Ace Week. Mm. And so the thinking was, oh, once we announce that we have emotes, that means that we have hit affiliate so people will know. But we kind of just mentioned the emotes in passing before Ace Week. And I think it was Joe that was like, Oh, once you guys hit affiliate, and we're like, we have it. Actually, we have the emotes. And she was like, what? Yeah. And then helped um, shout it from the rooftops of, what? You guys hit affiliate and you didn't tell us? <laughs> we're secretive, okay? You didn't tell us you had affiliate? What the fuck? <laughs> uh. We love 
Jeff. What? <laughs> Next she's, thing you know, we'll... <laughs> she's Next been busy, we'll... but... Oh, yeah, she's, she's been... well, she, greatly she's loved her. and appreciated. And she was doing a fanfic stream earlier. Yeah, she was. I popped I'm... in for a little bit beforehand, but then I got sleepy. I'm happy to hear that she's uh, feeling better after last month. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. But... And her writing is pretty nice. Uh, one day in the future, if we ever hit partner, we'll forget to announce that too. Hey, do you think we're gonna hit partner? <laughs> that was an occasion where spoiler to spoiling would be, please tell us! <laughs> I mean, that was also back when Furter was, like, tier two instead of one. Yeah, it was. Because we had no put spoiling. spoiler no spoiling as, like, oh, this is yeah. probably more immediately useful for people. But, like, actually, Furter is the favorite, so we moved Furter down to tier favorite. one. Which, I mean, Furter's an amazing emote. I, mm -hmm. love, it. I love Furter. Furter's great. Furter's so good. I Ideally... If we could get more emote slots, we would be able to share more emotes mm -hmm. because currently Sharky emote is sitting in bits. It's a bit emote, which is a shame because more people should be able to appreciate Wait, the Sharky what? emote. What? I have sh I have the Sharky on my personal. Uh huh. Well, because I think you were like, oh, it's this many bits, and then you just put that, and that was it. <laughs> yeah, I'm just like. <laughs> You're just like, what? I'm like, I need it. I need my, I need it. <laughs> I mean, yeah, Professor Sharky should have the Sharky emote. That's correct. When I, when I was talking to uh, my art friend, uh, she was like, oh, and like... Anyway, sorry, she... clone, but like, we hung out with you last night at the after party. We can't do uh, it again. She was like, May maybe we should do like the, the collab thing as like a stream, and like, then you could just upload the streams or something. And I'm like, nah. I'm like, but, but like me streaming, that'd be weird. What? Like me streaming on Professor Sharky, that'd be weird. You should do it. <laughs> I mean, you don't have to, but I mean, I think it. There, there are different things, right? Putting it on YouTube versus live, and I think, yeah. like, if you're gonna have a guest, it can be kind of more fun for her if there's like a chat going. But I mean. Ultimately, I mean, it's up to you and her, right? Yeah, but um, I mean, uh, but it, it is also the thing of like, okay, well, there, there's going to be, um, because we're going to be playing a game, and I, when we were talking about it, I'm like, oh, because like, it has multiple endings, I'm like, are we just going to get one ending? And she's like, no. <laughs> I say we get every ending. It's really? like this channel all over again. And she's just like, we are getting every ending, including the joke endings. I'm like... <laughs> oh no, you God. should... No, you know what you should have done? Was invite her to join us for Halloween. <laughs> Sharky. And do what? Hang out with us for spoopy time. What did we- I forget what we even did on Halloween! Could realize. Cause there was a vampire. So there was no spoop! It was a vampire! That doesn't mean spoop! Sure it does! He's a, he's a potato! Vampire Patat is still a vampire! Come on now! Um... So I'm just like, I don't know if a stream- I can't wait for you to find out who the other vampire is. Uh, I don't know if the stream would be good because, like, there's gonna be times where it's like, we're just gonna be, like, playing through the game again, which could easily be fast forward and cut through, through a video. I mean, that's why you chat through it. <laughs> um, so it's like... It, it, I mean, it. it's basically like us streaming, okay? We could be fast forwarding through things, but then we don't, and then we just tangent for 30 minutes at a time. Okay, Read your but line. The, but this game, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be standing there for 30 minutes because I'll die. <laughs> not, not Are you saying die. you don't want people to just watch you die as you tangent for 30 minutes? The spoop and code realize comes from all the trauma the characters have. 
You know, yesterday I realized how many of my coworkers are not traumatized, and I was like, wow. What's that like? <laughs> I, was gonna, I, I was just about to say, mm, still wondering if I should get that book that's going to call me out every time I open I, it. Look, it's up to you whether you want to read it or not. Um, for context for everyone else, the name of the book is The Body Keeps the Score, and it's about, like how your body and like brain continues reacting in the trauma way and like trying to process it and like causing all of these different symptoms you may not associate with trauma directly um, that continue causing problems in your life until you're able to like actually process the traumatic event or like whatever it is and like heal from it. Um, my coworkers, so we were reading this for like work book club thing that's like diversity and inclusion themed and um one of my coworkers literally said the words I don't consider mental health a diversity and inclusion topic I don't think it's a DNI topic so we should make sure in the future to stick to books that actually focus on DNI, and I had to unmute and be like, actually, I disagree, because mental health falls under disability. Like, legally, it falls under disability. It's not even a question. What are you talking about? We also just spent an hour talking about trauma and the various ways that it can be debilitating for people struggling with, like, PTSD and other trauma-related sort of disorders in their lives. What do you mean? mental health is not a DNI topic. Excuse me? <laughs> because, and this is true of many of my coworkers, they only associate the phrase mental health with like the goopified like, take nice baths, go on walks, self-care, which to be clear, self-care is really important. But that's, that kind of self-care is not the limit of mental health. It drives me nuts. I can't yeah. believe I had to sit there and hear my coworker say, I don't believe mental, I don't consider mental health to be a DNI topic. I was gonna scream. I like did not do any more work for the rest of the day because I was just like, I can't, I can't focus. What the fuck? What the yeah. fuck? What the fuck? And all my coworkers were saying about the book, like, yeah, I couldn't really relate. And I was like, really? Because my friends and I all feel called out by this. You sent me pictures and I'm like, Please. I sent you one picture of a passage and you went, why is the book calling me out again? Inhale. I don't know if it's supposed to be a good thing that they don't get it or be furious. I feel like... I'm on the side of be furious, kind of. So, uh, my, my opinion is, I get it. Yeah. In the sense of like, okay, like that has been what a lot of like, sort of common conversation on mental health has become is just like general self-care, avoid burnout, the things that everyone's susceptible to, um, especially in COVID and whatnot. But I'm also like, but you can't forget yeah. about the other side of mental health that is an yeah. actual disability. Because like, I mean, especially because we had just spent an hour talking about trauma, it was like, or, and like one of the questions we had discussed right before that was how do we make like what lessons can we take from the book to make our workplace more inclusive and like more accommodating um, for people like what takeaways can we apply to our workplace um, to say immediate like almost immediately after that like within 10 minutes after that question I don't consider mental health to be a diversity topic is like what do you think we were just talking about? It, it is. They're, they also said at one point, I wish he had considered, um, or I wish he had talked more about trauma through a diversity lens. And I was like, what you mean to say is intersectional lens because yeah, they were because... using diversity as another word for racial. And I'm like, intersectionality is really important. Yeah. It is absolutely a thing that should be discussed but to be clear mental health and trauma 
and those that kind of disability is in itself already a diversity topic. You don't need to add extra lenses to make it a diversity topic. It already is one. You add other lenses to make it intersectional. I hate every time my work has this book club because on one hand, I'm like, I'm gonna scream and I don't wanna participate in these anymore. And on the other hand, knowing that these are the other people in it makes me feel like I need to participate to set them straight because like they mean well that's the thing they mean well they're nice people every single person who joins those is like a nice person who genuinely like means well they're just clueless so i feel like i need to keep joining even though it's absolutely infuriating <laughs> because i feel like i need to be there to help correct shit like this you should do what's best for your mental health um, and go to therapy. Yeah, I probably should do that. Yes, you should. I mean, go they were therapy. talking about like their biggest takeaways from the book, and I went on a whole rant about that to Sharky. But like, my biggest also, takeaway is I should probably go to therapy. Yeah, also, I probably uh, should get a therapist. To everyone, um, hey, Magic, do you have your meds yet? People should consider therapy more. Like, obviously, like money and health insurance are always problems um but like if you're able it's fine to know like i scream a lot anyway in general yes but don't sacrifice your own health it's fine i have enough hp um I was playing Final Fantasy 2 earlier. There's so many jokes that I can make. I also hate Final Fantasy 2. <laughs> Did you read the rest of this line? I'm going to see what's going on with the rest of the party. No, because you started talking about your book club. Sorry. See You're yourself. fine. More prizes for me. I'm not saying, I'm not being like, mur, mur, mur. I'm just like, yeah. Ooh, who should we spend time with? Satan. I said, I was going to say Nova because we spent so much time with Satan already. Yeah, but we hung him out to dry. We didn't help out with the uh, girl thing. Plus, we spent time with Nova as well. You notice Satan dancing in the midst of the swaying crowd of villains. He's pretty easy to spot as he towers over most of the other conference goers. When he notices you, he emerges from the crowd and gestures you to move to a slightly quieter part of the club. After this run through, however long it takes us, we're gonna have to figure out an actual route order. <laughs> hey. How many days is it? How's it going? It's going? I just arrived. It's either like three or five or something. I don't remember. <laughs> Ah, uh, part of me thinks it might be four. I've been dancing for a while, so you came at a great time. I really needed a break. But I could obviously be wrong, as I am not somebody who knows video games. Satan, why are you wearing your apron in the middle of the club? You're, you're not working the grill right now. Because why do you have an apron and no shirt on? Because he has to cover, uh... Yes, this is Satan. Satan as Satan. This Satan, is how that Satan, voice was decided. As Lucifer? So, uh, uh, I got my copy of Shin Megami Tensei Five, mm -hmm. and one of the things in the Shin Megami Tensei series, and uh. In, uh, specifically Shin Megami Tensei is it's always seemingly a battle between God who is a huge dick and well isn't he? Um, it's called fashions <laughs> and and uh, I forget if, I forget if um the leader of the other side is called Lucifer or Satan because 
in Shin Megami Tensei, there is a difference between, like, there are two different themes. I'm stuck in that game. Mm. Um. Yeah, I am also stuck in that game. Oh. Uh, so where I am, there is a boss. Um, he randomly appears and he's like, ah, you're a demon. My job is to kill every demon that's in sight. Uh, and then just starts attacking you. And I'm like, I think I'm level enough for it, but I kind of have to figure out what demons I'm bringing in and what my loadout should be on my character. Because, like, he does, like, five hits for, like, uh, like, 150 damage. And I'm like, that's most of my health. Stop it. <laughs> and then he does, like, uh, full party attacks. I'm like, can you stop attacking me? No. Um, so, uh, and I haven't really played it much since But I'm fascinated. Sunday. So you're telling me that these games made in Japan, a non-Christian country, are about God versus Satan? Um, so the way that they always frame it is order versus chaos. Um, but one of the big things- So is, you're calling it God versus Satan. No, be, no, it's actually because the, the character, the, the, the leader of chaos is Satan and the leader of order, which is an order of literal angels, like the entire hierarchy of angels is Yahweh, which is the, which is the name for the Judeo-Christian God. And they literally call him the Judeo-Christian God. The whole oh okay, um the whole the whole. So again, in, why does this game? So the from entire, Japan, a non-Christian country. I've so the the entire thing with this game that they've talked about, and like I think it was like in the opening cutscene, is that um literal the Judeo-Christian God literally sapped the powers out of every other god which turned them into demons for himself and to make himself all powerful you know suddenly i understand everything. got it so, thanks yeah that so, sounds about right for christianity so like they're not exactly putting i mean because sort of christian-based demonology says all of these other gods from other cultures yeah those are demons yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's literally he like sucked the power out of them. And apparently part of the reason that uh Solomon fell from God's good graces was because he had all of these wives, some of whom worshipped other gods and he worshipped alongside them and then God was like, fuck you. Apparently. And I still am not over that I mean apparently God was like, fuck you, but I respected your dad, so you get to live out the rest of your life as a successful king, but then I'm gonna take away your kingdom from your son. Fuck your son. What? I mean, and that that was uh, um, in the, um, when, in the book of Gen Genesis. Genesis? Genesis. Uh, so when, um, all Are you telling the... me Solomon's in Genesis? No, no, no. I'm talking about a different story. Okay. Hold on. Because it also has to deal with a similar thing. <sighs> uh, in the book of Genesis, after uh, uh, the Jewish people left Egypt. Um... Oh, this reminds me. We both finished Midnight Mass. So, like, maybe mm. no spoilers if anyone in chat intends to watch, but um, after, we now know the rest of what's going on. And oof. I just, I just say I don't remember. Uh, but after they, after they leave Egypt, like the whole Moses thing, and they leave Egypt, um, he goes up a mountain to commune with God, and he makes the Ten Commandments. He and he literally comes down and sees them worshiping a calf that the people were like. Well, God abandoned us. Let's make our own God. Um, and then, like, they broke the commandments. He had to, like, he had to go up, and they made the commandments again. 
because they literally wrote them down on like a stone tablet and broke mm -hmm. them. Um, and then because of that, where they're like, well, we're just gonna make our own God. God was like, okay, so you're gonna roam the desert until everyone dies. And then there's just a new generation of you that fears me enough, then you'll be in your promised land. You know, for all he promises, the promised land, it's feeling a lot like Final Fantasy fucking seven. Yeah? But a little bit harder. A little bit harder of a laugh. I'm trying to get that wheeze. Sorry, it's not happening. <laughs> Why not? You have to fight for it. I am fighting for it! Fight harder. Do I have to compare uh, Sora to Jesus again? Or Jesus to Sora? I guess it was Jesus to Sora by completely misunderstanding the Holy Spirit because I don't know what the fuck that shit is. Nobody does. That's the thing. Nobody understands what the Holy Spirit is. You want to explain it? No, so that I can because be a heathen and immediately forget and ignore it? I don't understand it because like I said, nobody is canon or fan Canon Jesus. or fan Jesus? <laughs> yeah, literally the Republican Jesus is fan in Jesus. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I can't un I can't explain the Holy Spirit because nobody can explain it. Literally, nobody can explain it. And the Holy Spirit that moves through you to commit murder and turn people into vampires? But <laughs> Sharky the gut, that'll get the wheeze. I'm sorry, uh, but like, except for Melek, literally everyone here is closer to Sharky than I am. Geographically. Look, I've gotten I've gotten somebody putting their full weight into kneeing my chest before. It's fine. Holy Spirit Holy is like a vibe. <laughs> I'm so glad we're on this tangent now. Whilst you know Satan's on the screen, sometimes they show it as a dove. That's so what you're telling me is that the Holy Spirit sometimes it shows is your hotful boyfriend. Sometimes it shows up as literal fire. Hotful boyfriend in the scene with the fire. Sometimes it's nothing. Hotful boyfriend when everyone is dead. Aren't you worried you'll poke someone in the eye with your pitchfork on the dance floor? Oh. Oh, that's happened before. Really? And you still carry it around? I'm a villain, Sharky. Or sorry, Snacky. Yeah, I'm not in this game. What are you talking about? The staff were pretty mad at me, but since no one died and it was an accident, they let it slide. And you got to keep your pokey stick? Yeah. I think they were too scared of me to try to confiscate it. This job has its benefits. So I could bring a weapon here if I wanted? Sure. Though I- if you poked someone with it, I don't think you have the standing yet to keep it. Hmm. What's your favorite weapon, by the way? Holy Spirit is one of the doves in Hotful. Unholy Spirit is the creepy doctor. Oh my god, it's Yuya versus Shu. Wow. I mean. I'm sorry to say that the unholy spirit feeds you the Holy Spirit, I guess. Look, it is good. Christmas time is coming up. Chicken would be delicious. I think my favorite weapon is poison. Should I be watching my drink? Yeah, I don't want to be banned from the event just yet. Besides, I'm pretty sure you have poison resistance or something. 
Maybe I do. Maybe I don't. But poison, huh? A discreet way to get rid of someone, that's for sure. Does that make Nageki cheese sense? Well, Sharky? No. Because Nageki... And I'm going, I'm going to say this and you're going to say yes. Nageki's not a zombie. I mean, yeah, he's a ghost. He's not a zombie. Are you acknowledging Zambi Jesus? He's not a zombie, but sure. But he is. He was dead, and then he came back. We... The fundamental definition of a zombie but, but is zombies... the dead come back to life in their body. But zombies don't have intelligence. Depending. Depending on, like, which like series in canon whatever what series have you looked at where they have intelligence midnight mass <laughs> they aren't zombies they are in a way okay apparently i zombie has quite intelligent zombies i zombie yeah, that was a show. Um, what is Nageki Peter? <laughs> oh my gosh. I... Like, saying that zombies are not smart is like saying zombies are not fast. Depending on the series, they can be. But the definition of a zombie is a mythological, undead, corporeal revenant created through the reanimation of a corpse. Jesus! No, no! He didn't take the body into himself. Was he not? In a body? They had to open the tomb, didn't they? No, I'm talking- I'm saying about Melek's comment. Ah. He didn't take Nageki's body into himself. I mean, took the blood, yeah, I think. I- is that not his body then? That's a practicing communion, very good. <laughs> yes, practicing communion. Well, half of communion. Oh no. Ryota's the second coming of Christ. <laughs> Welcome to the Sharky and Satan stream where we turned a hotful yeah. boyfriend Christian, I guess. Not, Not willingly. <laughs> yes, he didn't willingly do this. It was forced upon him. Also, spoilers for Auto Full Boyfriend. I, you know, we played it on here, and it's yeah, been a not... very long time, and it's even been on the VOD channel at this point, right? Yeah, but so... not everyone's watched it. Yeah, but at this point, I mean, it's that thing of like, well, at this point, Spoiler warnings don't really apply anymore. It's been like 10 years since that game came out. No, my favorite... <laughs> the favorite discussion was, uh... When, um... Final Fantasy VII uh, Remake was coming out. Mm -hmm. And people were like, Well, how are they going to handle blah blah blah? And people were like, Spoilers! Not everyone's played Final Fantasy VII in coming for the remake! And people were like, it's been like 25 years. Yeah, again, at this point, if you haven't, that's kind of a you problem. Like, there is a certain point where, like, yeah, spoilers are, you, you don't get a warning anymore. If you haven't dove into it, that's your own problem. And I feel like five to ten years is, like, probably that point. If it's been a decade, 
and you haven't bothered, you don't get to say, ah, don't spoil anymore. You have to just leave. Once it hits two decades. Two decades, point. especially. Especially for something that big. Especially like the pivotal, like one of the pivotal points of Final Fantasy VII too. Hmm. That is one of the pivotal points of Final Fantasy VII. Yeah. Like. Anyway, let's see been, if we can find somewhere to sit down. I think that's been memed about the death. Uh huh. You're Satan. Do you even need rest? Well, sort of. I can go for a long time without food or rest, but it isn't really that fun. I technically don't need to go to sleep at all. But who'd want to go without sleeping? Mm, yeah, Sharky. True. I love sleep. Teenagers. I mean, like, I like, I love sleep, but I also have so many things I want to do. I will be right back. Teenagers. Such mysterious beings. Teenagers scare the shit out of me. They could care less, as long as someone will bleed. Welcome to, I guess, spoken word, uh, My Chemical Romance? <laughs> Actually, I was listening to Black Veil Brides, because I had never really listened to them before, but then I actually, like, listened. And I had kind of assumed for some reason that I wouldn't like them, but I actually really did. But then one of their albums, they made like a spoken word poetry version <laughs> of the album where it's just their songs read out of the lyrics as spoken word poetry. It's fascinating. I'm like, I probably will never listen to this again, but it's kind of interesting just to hear. If I could stop time while I sleep, that would be ideal. Yeah, like, there are so many things to get done and, like, different deadlines and stuff. And, like, it's really inconvenient that time keeps moving when I have these things that I want to do for fun but also need rest. Uh, many things that I would like to do. Mood. <laughs> exactly. Exactly, like, the the struggle between I want to sleep, because sleep is great. Sleep is lovely, sleep it makes you feel refreshed and nice, and it's just like nice to be unconscious for a while. But then on the other hand, what a waste of time! There are so many other uses for that time! Wait, there are so many things I want to do! I need that time back, wait! Give, give it back! Alas, we are but mu mere humans condemned to requiring sleep. And then sometimes we get more tired. Constantly fighting with myself to avoid becoming nocturnal because everything is open during the day. Um, COVID lockdown stuff has like opened back up and stuff a lot more but it has fucked up my sleep schedule so that i even with my full-time job i go to sleep at about 4 a.m and i wake up at about 10. and yes that's about six hours of sleep and that's why i'm always tired also work yeesh I mean, work is the real waste of time. I don't want to do this bullshit labor just so I can survive. I don't want to do this. At least I get joy out of sleep. What joy do I get out of work? Alas, I also live in a ruthlessly capitalistic society. So we need money in order to survive. It's tragic. I have so many things I would rather do instead of work. And some of my coworkers are like obsessed with work. They're just like really into it. They wanna keep working and stuff. Or even when they're not working, they wanna like look at stuff related to work. And I'm like, no. 
when I'm off work, I am off work. I'm not doing this anymore. <laughs> Also, having stuff as a job, I feel like, just like sucks the fun out of things. Like art is really fun until you're required to do it for like a class or something. And then it becomes a lot less fun all of a sudden. <laughs> so many things are like fun until they're not. Give them a couple years, maybe they'll burn out. Probably. And then they'll talk about mental health only in terms of burnout and self-care. <laughs> I feel like that's the thing. I think that's why it gets talked about so much in terms of self-care is because everybody burns out and everyone's sort of susceptible to burnout. And like, yeah, everyone should take care of themselves, try to avoid burning out and stuff, but it's just like, there's so much more to be considered there. But that's not what happens. <laughs> Sorry, I just keep like complaining about my coworker stuff. How's everyone else? Does everyone else have, I don't know, coworkers that they like better or something? I hope, I hope, I hope you all have like, if you have jobs that your coworkers are people that you can stand, that you maybe enjoy working with. Perhaps. Two of my coworkers on my team just quit too, so. Womp. And we've been understaffed as is, so. That's fun. I have some coworkers I look forward to working with. That's good. I'm glad, Malik. It's good to have some coworkers you like, at least. Because that, I mean, if you have no coworkers you like, it's just miserable. Sharky talks about his coworkers and it sounds like there's not a single person that he seems to like. And I'm just like, that's just terrible. You should find better coworkers. I like my coworkers, parentheses, lab mates would be more accurate probably. Actually gonna be hanging out and getting drunk with a couple of them on Friday. <laughs> that sounds fun, Magic. Remember to drink responsibly, but also like that sounds really fun. I don't work, so I'm not qualified to answer. That's fair. But when I did work, my coworkers were awful. Aww. Yeah, I had really terrible coworkers at my previous job, but my current job, like I was saying earlier that many of my coworkers are just like oblivious. They just don't fucking know. And it's super frustrating, um, at least in terms of like diversity related stuff. But like, they're perfectly nice people. I work with a lot of really well-meaning nice people, um, which means like if I ever need to go to people for help or things, they're always really, really nice. But my job before this was terrible. It was fucking awful. And like when I would describe my old manager there to one of my friends, she would actually tell me that she suspected him of straight up like conspiring to sabotage me so that he could take credit for my work. So that was a thing. He totally did. Welcome back. Yeah. He totally did. I tell you, it was not fun coming out as Ace. Yeah, I've mentioned to a couple of my current coworkers that I was Ace, mainly because I mentioned streaming, and they're like, "Oh, what's your stream?" And I was like, oh, "Fuck, how do I describe this?" That is a bad situation. Yeah. I mean, that coworker tried to like, or that old manager tried to blame everything on me as I was leaving that job because I was like. Yeah, I, just, I wanted to put in my last two weeks as my notice to you, blah, blah, blah. And he was like, oh, like, well, why are you leaving? And it wasn't like an official exit interview. It was just, why are you leaving? And I was trying to avoid saying anything. And he insisted, like, come on, like, if not for yourself, like, I want the feedback. I want to, like, we need to be able to fix things for the next person. So you need to tell me. So I was like, okay, so I put as diplomatically as I could, like, well, for one thing, like, you moved me from team to team every, like, three months, so I didn't have a stable team, and, like, this and that other stuff, and then he turned it around and blamed the whole thing on me, and I was just like, yeah, this is, this is why I'm leaving. Shit like this 
is exactly why I'm leaving. Anyway, so I'm gonna go get a better job that pays me more now. Bye. I'm never gonna deal with your shit again. Peace out. <laughs> I wear my ace ring at work, that's the extent I would ever talk about it at work. Yeah. And that's like a, nobody's gonna recognize it. Nope, nobody's gonna recognize <laughs> it's, that. It's one of those, if you know, you know. Yeah. And if you uh, don't know, it just, you know, you just have it. And, uh, yeah, none of my coworkers would know that. A lot of them are, uh, seemingly a little bit more, um, Right-leaning? Uh-huh. I think the word you're looking for is assholes, actually. I'm still forever gonna despise the one coworker. Which one? The one that always calls me by my full name. Oh, that one. I was wondering if you were talking about the one who said that we should all just go ahead and get COVID so we can get uh, the pandemic over with. Ah, uh, yes, then there is that one. Thankfully, he's left. That's now other good. Good riddance. Now Bye. Now other people need to suffer by being around him. Yeah. I mean, that coworker was all like one saying like hospitals are making up COVID numbers in order to get money and yeah we should all get it so that like we can all be immune to it even though like getting COVID again is very much a thing. I had some people at work who now acknowledge that I'm ace because of what I wore for Halloween. I was surprised that one person already knew because they recognized my flag wristband. Hey! <laughs> nice! That's Wait, what That's did you cool. wear for Halloween? I want to know now. Now, like I said, it was an ace trainer. Oh, right, right, right. We know. I We've forgot. asked this. I <laughs> forgot. Millica I get excited about Halloween stuff. Milik also mentioned it before Halloween. I know, but I forgot. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just gonna roll now. Bye. I explained the joke multiple yeah. times. <laughs> I wish I had a picture. Oh. Yeah. Once you become an adult, you realize that you're happy to get a good night's sleep. Going to bed at 9 p.m. because you're so tired after the work day. That's definitely happened to me. Freaked out my manager with white contacts. Now I'm extra interested. White contacts. Wow. Talking about sleeping makes you yawn. And Satan gives you a look. I mean, going <laughs> to bed uh, because of a long work day, who says it's going to bed at nine o'clock? There's been days it's at five o'clock. <laughs> Time to go to bed. Always. So you're going straight to bed after the stream? Yeah, I mean, I'm probably gonna lay down and probably like just look at my phone and listen to something for a little bit. Normally after the stream, I don't fall asleep until like 1.30. You're always like, oh, I should go to bed after the stream though. Yeah, but like I always kind of just mess around like on my phone. And listen ah, to as one does. Bit. Fuck listen around on their phone. phone listen to some YouTube to try to calm my brain down oh. and then uh, then I fall asleep um, it doesn't help that my dreams have been increasingly weird lately oh yeah oh my gosh well there's the uh, what, what once did I tell the what once did I give you a vague telling of uh I don't know tell them again there was one where I was a retired pirate oh, yeah. who recently got married and then became a pirate again. Why did you stop? Uh, did you have to take marriage leave? No, I think I just wanted out from being a pirate. What? So I'm like, that's so I'm that's like, how you know it's fake. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to like up and then like I, I met somebody I got married 
and then my captain, my old captain was like, I'm about to die, you need to take over for me, and I'm like, okay! There was one that, ha like, was half flashback? Where I was, um, like, I was going somewhere, and, like, we were, uh, on a plane, and then it was a flashback to the previous day when we tried to leave on a plane and that failed utterly, um, and had something to do with, like, the plane running on a, like, on, like, the weirdest fuel because it wasn't actually fuel, it was, like, good deeds or something? What? And so when people did bad, it got, like, harder to fly the plane or some garbage. It was, like, the stupidest dream. Uh-huh. Last night was, like, some weird, like, undead monster thingy, like, stalking around outside. It wasn't, like, a nightmare or anything, but it was kind of just like, Oh, yeah, there's, like, a creature outside that's, like, absorbing other things. Huh, that's weird. Not that a nightmare. No, I, like, I wasn't, like, terrified in any way, shape, or form. It was kind of like a, huh, that's weird. <laughs> My dreams are the weirdest things. Uh-huh. Like, you could literally, like, just be like, okay, write an episode based on Sharky's dream. Why would anybody watch this? Okay, let's just mess around. Fuck around and find out. Even though I like sleeping, there are things that are worth staying up for. Like streaming. Like hanging out with the king of hell? On the no, stream? stream? Streaming? Uh, with the king of hell? You're not a demon. Are you sure? Yes! Can you prove that? I've seen you! Doesn't mean I'm not a demon. Remember, demons are tricky. That's kind of the point. Yeah, yeah, that's one of them. True to your word, you stay up late hanging out with Satan at the nightclub. Where the music goes. I say that, but I haven't gone clubbing very much in my life but uh my roommate went club. out to a club recently and then she came home and was like yeah i left because i got bored because i don't get these like edm djs where they seem to play the same beat for three hours straight oh my gosh like different songs but so similar that you can't tell where one ends and the next begins and it just feels like the same beat and like this, it feels like essentially the same song mm. for hours. She was there for like two, two and a half hours and she's like, it felt like the same thing. And I got bored cause she, it was, everyone was just doing the exact same, like bopping around back and forth. And that was it. Cause that's all there was to do. And it's like, yeah, you, you can really only enjoy this if you're high. <laughs> The third day of the conference begins. But we should probably be ending soon, actually. The only, th the only uh, club, quote-unquote, that was near me growing up was a strip club. <laughs> I mean... Okay. Not like I've been. But that was the only club that was ever near me. I mean, it doesn't have to be near where you grew up for you to go to a club. Why would I... You hung out with us plenty of times at the college. That wasn't near where you grew up. But you just, like, stuck around and hung out. And did we go clubbing? No, we did not. I have very rarely gone clubbing. 
But I feel like I would like to. But I have very few friends who are the type to go clubbing. Mm, we'll make clubbing friends. I don't know how to do that. Uh, you talk to people? You get I only to know, know how to make nerd friends. And uh, a lot of nerd then, friends don't like clubbing. Not that they're people? mutually exclusive, but you just that the Venn diagram then, has only a sliver, I feel like. And then say, hey, wanna go clubbing? Boom, you made clubbing friends. I, that's not how that works. It's totally is. I don't think so. <laughs> uh, do you think I know how to make friends? Yes. Are you sure? I don't think you know how to make clubbing friends. Are but I sure think you know how to make friends. Do you realize, like, the Do you realize you... that you've hung out with in-person friends more free, like, more often than I have recently? I don't mind clubbing, but I prefer going to goth clubs. I prefer just being goth. Though, I mean, like, I've never been to a goth club. I would like this experience. Um... I was gonna say, you do realize the way that you and I started talking is kind of similar to the way me and Art Friend started talking? We, dra we dragged you out drinking after people didn't show up to our club, and then we started talking over drinks? I, I don't we're think that's how you talk to Art Friend. We, we weren't talking, we, we went over this. We weren't talking over drinks, we were talking after drinks. We were talking over drinks that extended after drinks. I don't think I did much talking. No, that's, that's also like one of those instances when we discovered that you and your ex had broken up. Because our other friend was trying to tease you over your relationship again. And then it was, oh, awkward. <laughs> This is why you don't tease people about relationships. I mean, yes. But, you know, that's how that friend is. Yeah, I know. They haven't been in any relationships for the entire time I've known them, which at this point is like over a, a decade, technically. Jeez. Like, I didn't really talk to them at all until probably another two months from now. But, like, technically, I've known that person for almost a decade or so. Jeez. Yeah, but, like, th th that's what happens when you tease somebody. It's like, oh, well, we, we broke up a few months ago. Oh. That was a bad joke. That was a bad joke. Which also happened around Black Friday. Huh. Whoops. <laughs> so, it was Sharky solo stream so everyone can comfort you? If, I don't think no. you still need comforting over that at this point. No, it's been... Uh, years. Six years. Yeah. It's I had been to do, a I while. had to do math because I, I legitimately was like... It's been quite a while. What year is it? At this what? point, it's not comforting you need. It's more therapy. What's therapy? It's a thing that you attend. Like, out of everyone here, you're the one person I actually know has a therapist. Wait, did Magic say that they've started going? I think Magic said they were supposed to have an appointment and to start getting meds again but uh i don't know whatever was the outcome of that magic you're being i guess interrogated on your medical history magic, magic avoided avoid the question <laughs> but yes yay you started going good that's good therapy is good for you especially if trauma has affected your life. Uh-huh. Even minor traumas. Yeah. Like, trauma. I, tr in general. The thing is that, like, so one of the things that came up during the DNI um, well, I've had at least discussion. a first appointment. Baby steps and all. Yeah, well, that's yeah, something. That's good. And I mean, 
I think with COVID and everything, like some, a lot of therapists have gotten really booked up because they've had a lot of new clients, yeah. um, which is kind of good, but like also stressful for them. And so yes. they can only take so many clients at a time. Yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, I, I think that also kind of came up during that same DNI discussion yesterday um, where I, it's this weird thing where like, you know, we always make comments like everyone's got their own traumas. Or, like everyone's, yes. yeah. And like we kind of take that a bit for granted. Yes. And I feel, I'm starting to think that it's the thing of like, oh, if all of your friends are neurodiverse, I have some news for you. Um, but like, I, you know, I feel like the people at my workplace really seemed not to because you know we were i was sending you snippets of the book and you were like why is the book calling me out why is the book calling me out and i was like the book's calling me out too the book's calling me out so it has to call you out too um but also uh at least i i can only speak for myself uh i had some extremely bad parents uh uh-huh you did um like, I, I think just, it strikes me like, oh, you know, for all we say like, oh, everyone's traumatized. Everyone has like their own traumas and different traumas. I guess some people actually kind of don't because well, they I mean, could not relate to the book at all. But, but here's also a thing, though, that like, there could be traumas that have affected them that are so... I don't know, because what the book is about is whether you realize the trauma or not, the ways that those traumas have manifested in your life, in your body, regardless of whether you personally, like mentally remember them. Even if you've suppressed those memories, they still appear in the body as symptoms. That's kind of the point of the book. Whether people are ready to talk about it, whether they're ready to process it or not, the body continues having those trauma responses. Um, so I feel like the like, couldn't relate to this book at all, is like, oh, wait, you don't understand, you don't recognize any of this, you don't even in your friends or anything um is like oh huh but again i think like well if you're the kind of person who says i don't consider <laughs> mental health to be a dni topic um maybe that's why you don't have any friends that uh are dealing with things like that <laughs> or at least no friends that have told you feel free to put it feel free to put it feel free to put it hmm keep talking feel free to put what nothing what? nothing have i missed discord messages or something maybe i see yes put put halloween 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 I want to see. This is Halloween. Only if you're comfortable, of course. Uh, I feel like because I am obsessed with Halloween, the Satan one would be fine or general or really wherever. <laughs> or confused ace noises. Confused what ace are? noises was like intended to be the place for ace like ranting about aloe experiences. But um, we haven't. In a while. We haven't in a while, and part of that I feel like is because Ooh. I have been at Jeez. like I've been working from home, so like I couldn't like I wasn't interacting with as many of my coworkers, so I had a lot fewer aloe experiences. Also, oh my god, these are great. Malik, that's so cool. <laughs> Those Pokeballs. Oh, 
that is so cool. I'm just looking at the actual costume itself. I'm like, ah! So, um, one of the things, um, oops. No, don't be, don't say oops. You're fine. Um, it's all good. Things, it's all good. They really the things, go wherever. <laughs> um, my friends, my tabletop group wanted to do at one point, and I still am like, we should do this because it would be fun. Um, is there's four of us, right? Uh, me and one of them as kids really big in the Pokemon. I think the one of them played it up to has actually played like I think almost every generation, at least one of the games. Um, I think they even played they played Sword and Shield, I think. Um, but like they're still active, they still play it and everything. Uh, no, you're fine. You're fine. Um, no, it's okay. It's okay. Putting it in general and, is also okay. We were just kind. Of, I was just kind of throwing out random channel uh, names because it doesn't. We don't have any dedicated type of space for it. And uh, obviously, you know me. I I skip some generations, but I play Pokemon. But two of them were like, we're interested, but we just don't know anything about this. So what we were going to do at one point would be like, oh yeah, let's uh, let's just get together and uh, have them play through Pokemon, like a Pokemon game each, and just teach them Pokemon. And the joke would be like, ah oh, yes, there's the two like start like starting trainers getting their first Pokemon, and then there's the two Ace trainers just sitting there being like, okay, now here's how to Pokemon. And I, I just would always be like, heh <laughs> Ace Trainer. Heh <laughs> And they're, they're looking at me like, gosh dang it. Heh <laughs> <laughs> I mean- I'm moving it to the end screen because I think we're done, but we, yeah. this is not to rush us. It's just no, so yeah. that I'm not staring at the same screen. Yeah, no, I get it, I get it. Um, and I, I, like I said, I'm still very much like with them. I'm like, I'm still up to doing that because like, Teaching Pokemon's fun. Why am? Why do I always want to teach people games? Uh, because you're Professor Sharky. But this was before Professor Sharky. You were Professor Sharky. You just hadn't started the channel yet. Is Professor Sharky part of my soul? Uh huh. Oh, I'm never gonna. I'm never gonna stop it. Mm -hmm. have, a, have a fun night, Malik. Bye, Magic. Yeah, yeah we're yeah, ending soon anyway. Yeah, I am going to get them. I'm very interested in... Because um, I didn't play Diamond and Pearl until... After... Like, when X and Y was coming out. <laughs> Like, I played Emerald, like, on release, but then I didn't play Diamond Pro Platinum until, like, X and Y was coming out. Um, so it will be interesting playing them from a different side when I don't know them that well. So you're going to record them for Professor Sharky? <sighs> I don't think that would be a fun Professor Sharky, though. No. I don't think so. Or sorry, not Professor Sharky. What was the other one? Uh, it's like the Stumble's Throw. Yes. I again, I don't think it would be that fun to watch me play Pokemon. That's what you like, think, but you don't think that it's fun to watch you in general, and that's clearly not true. Like, it, I think it would be more applicable to be like, oh, if I streamed on P Professor Sharky, maybe I would stream on my Twitch, uh, I'd watch it. Well, you can start streaming. <laughs> Nothing's well, holding you back from also streaming on your Twitch, uh, independently. It's mainly, it's mainly time and energy. <laughs> Nothing uh, external is preventing yes. you. It. What's preventing me is all internal, and part of it is also that uh, before I before I set any other content into the winds, I want to do that review episode. I have like... You should do that. Liter literally, if I do like three videos of Final Fantasy a week, 
I have like a month and a half of Final Fantasy videos. I kind of admire the people who have the freedom of just like streaming whenever they feel like it. But I mean, a lot of them are making enough like on Twitch that it's their job. Uh huh. No, I'm talking about like, um, I think Mick has done this before, where it's like, uh, just being unable to sleep. You know what? I'm gonna stream. Mm, yeah. However, oh. this channel is tied to my personal email yes. because that's how we have the Twitch Prime stuff on it. Yeah. So I don't have a, another Twitch account. This is my only one. <laughs> Thought about doing lore vids for Mega Man. That'd be cool. Mm -hmm. That would be very interesting. And Sharky, yeah. you gotta put your other Twitch. Well, did I did two did vids, but it didn't really take off. Mm. Yeah, I mean, some of it yeah, is I, the self-promotion struggle as well. Yeah. I it's mean, always tough. Uh, like you have I to said, find your niche I, for it, for I, that kind I, I of thing, I think. Um, I don't stream to my, to my personal uh, YouTube channel, or not YouTube, uh, Twitch, but it is- I don't know, maybe you should start personally streaming on YouTube. <laughs> no. No? Oh, I'm seeing a lot about st people moving over to YouTube. But I think it's tw just twitch.tv slash prof sharky. Alright, let's see. If I remember right. Because it's just my use twitch.tv slash my username. Oh, I also hate promoting myself, which is why I don't promote myself. Yeah. But you know what? I get to promote sharky. Yeah, it's, it would literally just be twitch.tv slash propsharky. Um, there it is. Three followers. Yeah. I don't even know who follows it. I don't know why anybody would. Because, again, I don't stream. To, I think I, like, streamed to it, like, once when I was young. Um, but, like, I don't, I don't stream to it. But you could stream. Again. Whenever you want. I don't know. I want to get my thingy done. Hmm? I want to get the thingy done. You should do that. I should. Because um, what... Because once that's done, it's kind of just like, okay, then I can do Kingdom Hearts 2. Then I can start dropping the Final Fantasy videos. Because I've been playing through Final Fantasy, and that's been half a blast, half I hate my life. Uh-huh. Final Fantasy 2 sucks. It, it sucks. <laughs> anyway. So you should do all that. And people should check out the Professor Sharky YouTube. No. And I guess technically, if I'm promoting that, I suppose I should do self promo as well with our overall VOD channel, archive yeah. channel. I, sh I also need to get uh, uploading that too. I think I have everything up to June done. I just have to uh, uh, set the dates for them to. Premiere. Mm. Um, it's like I got them done, but then my computer started acting funny, mm. and work started getting bad. Yeah, I uh, mean, whenever you get to it, right? Yeah, I want to get past November because once you're once we're past the beginning of November, we're good for a good long while. <laughs> Yeah. Oh no, I just thought of last year and how we had those Rows of Winter streams. Uh. Uh. uh because, like, once we're past Extra Life, it's basically just upload the straight uploads. Uh -huh. Um. Because we didn't really have any other crashes. Mm -hmm. for, like, needing to. We were lucky for a while. Until, like, a few weeks ago. Alright, so. so I guess we should end here before we crash again. 
before you crash. Before I crash. Yeah, before you crash. Well, I've been crashing here and there. <laughs> Somewhat a lot. I've been trying to actually just completely turn off my computer whenever I'm not using it. And this computer I mostly use just for streaming because it's a desktop and it's just less convenient to like hang out with my roommate yeah. if I have to do things on desktop. So I've been using my laptop more. Um, so I'm like, I hope that if I have my computer off that often that it helps, I don't know. But we also like need to get you on an actual like Yes. Good copy of Windows because... Yes, I, I'm aware. Because I think that's half the problem. Probably. But anyway, that'll be another time problem. Thanks everyone for joining. I'm trying to wrap up so I can go make dinner. Yes. Have I don't know what's night. for dinner yet, but I have to go make it. We'll be back on Friday for... Are we starting Undertale Neutral? I think so. Okay. Like, we'll I don't back. think I have any reason to be out Friday, so yeah, that sounds right. Okay. Then yeah, we should be starting uh, Undertale uh, Neutral Run, which is gonna be... Call out? An inch. Are you gonna get called out? Uh, no, we're not gonna get called out. Oh, is it the good one that we get called out? Yeah, it's the good one we get called out for. Okay. I'll have to be patient. Anyway, yeah. thanks for joining. Well, Bye. Have a good bye. day slash night, everyone. Bye-bye.